This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Today is Tuesday, July 7th, 2020. And we're talking this week about Christianity and our relation to it as Unitarian Universalists. I talked a little bit yesterday about how I am not, by my own definition, or the one most denominations use, Christian. And yet, I am a proud graduate of Wesley Theological Seminary. I'm back there for a doctorate right now, and I'm just as happy preaching from Mark's Gospel as I am about anything else. So what gives in that? It's a couple things. Um, first, I don't have much trauma around Christianity. And that's important to note because it's not at all universal in our tradition. For me, family members of mine were, are, Methodist clergy. I enjoyed the churches of my childhood. I have a, a certain fondness for the tradition. I don't think of Christianity and have, have personal memories of hurt. And that's not true for everybody, but that is part of how I come to this interaction. There's also, I think, a difference between a religion as a, an intellectual assent to a series of propositions. So, I believe that Moses parted the Red Sea and God singled out a single people for salvation. And religion as a cultural force. So, attending synagogue on the high holidays, believing that celebrating family dinner on Friday night is important. We don't make that distinction well. Many outspoken Christians don't make it, and we outsiders certainly don't make it that often. But it's one that I often come back to. I, theologically, I'm not Christian, but that is my home culture in many ways. We celebrate Christmas, we celebrate Easter. The questions and concepts I've been immersed in since I was 15 are driven by long engagement between Christianity and the rest of the culture that we live in. So, you know, questions of grace, duty, hope, love, in as much as Shakespeare informs the language that we use and the questions that we ponder, so does the King James Bible. So as long as we're pondering it, we might as well do it intentionally. And the last reason for, for taking this relationship seriously, for really thinking about how we interact with institutional Christianity, is that robust interfaith engagement requires being able to engage. And we have big goals as Unitarian Universalists. We talk about transforming the world. But how do we interact with the broader religious community around us? Because this is really important in my personal work here. Because there just aren't that many Unitarian Universalist congregations in Nebraska. So organizing for social change requires that we work outside our own communities. To organize in an interfaith setting, you have to be able to hold your own identity clearly while respecting and appreciating that yours is not the only theology in the room. And if, as a Unitarian Universalist, you can bring out scripture to observe that iron sharpens iron, or that sometimes we're working in different parts of the same vineyard, that's a really good tool to have at hand. That says, I don't share your faith, but I do speak your language, and we can be a part of something together. And that relationship, that authentic relationship that says, I am going to take your beliefs seriously even if I don't share them, that's a requirement to respect an authentic relationship that then organizing comes out of. Thanks for letting me get up on a soapbox there for a little while. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. Have a great afternoon.